cyber is in everything that we do. And if we don't get cyber right, we have failed not only ourselves, but our customers as well. Our space systems company is back defending their title this year. Aero's online, MFC is online, EBS is online, RMS is online, space is not online. We are good to go. We're really excited about our cyber challenge this year. It's a capture the flag event, somewhat similar to what we did uh, last year. However, we do have uh, representatives from each of the business areas, but we also have representatives from our CIS internal red team that are also participating, which gives us a stronger set of competitors that are, that are going head to head. This year, we also um, decided to go with virtual uh, environments. We networked the locations together, so each team is competing from their home location, and everyone is networked in together to actually compete in this event. We did this for a couple of reasons. One was uh, we wanted to, to start to extend it out to more participants if possible, and second of all, we were looking for um, kind of a trial run for next year when we plan to take the same type of event international. We've had each of the business areas uh, choose their own participants and they really chose the, uh, the best and the brightest from the cyber uh, domain. Uh, those individuals who have experience in uh, both defending systems but also in attacking systems. We have very strong software engineers, we have some embedded hardware engineers that are competing, we have traditional penetration testing and red team types of personnel. The team that developed the challenges are called white team. They're running the event for the next three days and each of the competitor teams can um, send an IM to them if they have any network issues, questions about the challenges, they need a hint to you know kind of get through. I think it'll be very close this year. Um, I think each of the teams has been preparing for this over the last, I guess it was six, six months, so we'll see. The only things that they're given initially are IP addresses and from there they have to perform reconnaissance, um, find vulnerabilities, and a way to exploit into um, the, the box. This year we decided to add sort of a storyline to each of the challenges as well. They are hacking a fictitious user, Fienda Loster. The flags that they're capturing will be formatted uh, as a social security number, for example, or they'll be trying to gain um, access to her Facebook account or a bank account, kind of gain personally identifiable information on Ms. Loster uh, and other, you know, kind of access to her life. We decided that our team name this year was going to be the Cyber Attack Tactics Squad, or CATS for short. And the reason why is... All your base are belong to us. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Kenny, our unofficial mascot here for this week's activities. One of the hardest things with a lot of Capture the Flags is just getting started. And anytime you have this type of setup where they have kind of a large network, a lot of machines, potentially users across those machines, it's just getting, getting that first flag, getting some information to go from, often really jump starts the whole, the whole thing. So we, we have official first point, EBS. All right, someone drew first blood. Three days later. Don't take the hit. Don't go hit happy. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. And then our first place winners this year. Good work, MSG. All right, guys. Very hard Oh, man, we're done. Later. <laughs> By bringing the cross business area teams together, we're really harnessing the power of the individual talent into a group and identifying key techniques and solutions to really address that hard cyber challenge.